Okay, this is future me. This is where this video will end. I will be looking like this, so you can keep watching and look forward to that. But while I was filming this, I was expecting it to be one long video with my recent vlog where I'm running around in Paris trying to prepare and then I would like go home and pack shit. But I'm realizing that I would rather split them into two, which means when I started filming this video, I didn't film like I didn't explain what I was doing because I assumed that you would already know and maybe you already do know but today we are packing because in a week I'm gonna go to Palermo, Italy and I'm stressed out and I actually do have a lot of time but I just need to like find peace in my mind and know what I'm gonna wear so that's what we're doing and I can tell you it's cute. Here we are in my closet and I'm not gonna pack because it's still a while until my trip, but I have to figure out what I'm bringing so I can know what I need to wash and iron and so on. And also like just to settle my mind because I'm already having like a full on crisis about what I'm wearing and what I'm bringing. So I just want to like get that out of the way. First problem, I'm flying with hand luggage only, which limits my amount of liquids that I can bring with me. So I have this motherfucker of a filled up little plastic bag with all of the liquids that I expect to bring. It's really like filled to the max, but I have a waterproof mascara, one nail polish. I think I'm gonna go for a nude nail polish. I could go for black, but I think nude is gonna be more in my mood. This plug of deodorant, I have a deodorant case, but this is the part that goes in it. Like it's a reusable case and then I put this part in. So deodorant, a lighter, one lip gloss, this is like a, a dark nude color. A concealer, this is by Clinique. One eyeliner pencil, just black. A lip balm with SPF in it to protect my little lips from getting sunburned a shower gel to clean my body a lipstick and this is a red lipstick by Clinique so I have the nude lip gloss and a red lipstick sunscreen for my face SPF 50 because this face does not do well with sun my night cream by La Roche-Posay my day cream also by La Roche-Posay and then these three bastards that I haven't put anything in yet. These three things are like silicone reusable containers that you can fill up with whatever products you need. And I'm gonna fill one with sunscreen for my body, one with my cleanser for my face, and one with eye makeup removal. So I'm gonna fill those two, but I'm not gonna do that today. But I just wanted to put them in there to see how much fit. So that's my liquids and my little plastic bag. Then I'm bringing my hairbrush and this is the case for the deodorant. And in this little pouch I have my powder, a menstrual cup because I'm suspecting that I might get my period and normally I wear reusable pads but for traveling it's just easier to bring this one. Two reusable cotton swabs. One of them is with like a smooth surface and it's good for makeup correcting and the other one is more ruffled and it's good for cleaning your ears and two reusable cotton swabs just for makeup removal my toothbrush eyelash curler the new one i bought look at that it's not crooked like the other one i had was so nasty my contour palette which is also gonna be what i'm gonna use for doing eye makeup because i don't want to bring a lot of stuff and this thing is huge but that's what i got and brushes, nail file, eyeshadow brush, blush brush, contour, concealer, tiny angled one, and powder. So that's like all of the small things. Then like, I need to decide on jewelry and hair accessories, but I'm gonna do that once I have my outfits. And then of course I have all of the shit I just normally have in my handbag. But again, we, we need to figure out the clothes now. So I think we're gonna do it this way, that I go through everything in my closet and pull out the things that I might want to wear. And then we're gonna cut it down once I have everything out on display. So first of all, 
I have to bring a jacket, but I will decide on the jacket once I know what the outfits are gonna be because it kind of has to be something that goes with everything. But I'm suspecting that I, I'm gonna want to bring my big 80s leather jacket, but it might be too much, I don't know. Here I have two dresses, one in green and one in black. They kind of have the same silhouette and they're like really long and cute. The green one has an open back and I feel like I don't think I want to wear a lot of color, but it's nice to have something long with me. So I'm gonna take them both out now and I can see if like, if I want to bring any of them. Here we have three dresses, different lengths. This one is so cute and it's Italian silk. But I don't think that I want to bring anything pink. Like I want to go with neutral colors. So this is going back in the closet. This one is super pretty and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to bring it. And then this one I'm not sure about. I actually thrifted this not that long ago. But then I did like a thrift flip where it was really, really short. I think it was supposed to be a shirt. But I cut open the arms and sew on straps, so now it's like a bit longer. But it's see-through, which actually is kind of cute. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna see. Here we have two white shirts, one just plain and one in linen. And I'm gonna bring this one because it's a good long sleeve shirt. It's good to cover up my shoulders and it's always nice to have a shirt. This is a short sleeve shirt, see-through black brown kind of uh, white and you know what i really really like this and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna bring it this one is so beautiful but i always have a hard time styling it and the pieces i'm gonna bring i want them to be like easy to put on so this is gonna be a no and this one is so cute i love the idea of it but i never end up wearing it so no this one is one of the new favorite pieces in my wardrobe i recently thrifted it i'm gonna put it out for now and we'll see if it ends up working out with the rest this one is super beautiful but i've worn this a lot with italian boy already and i don't think i want to wear it again not on this trip again super cute but I don't think this color is going to be my vibe. I love this shirt. It's always a go-to. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to bring it. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put it out. It's a maybe. The black corset top we all know and love. I'm going to say maybe. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so hard. Leather vest? No, leather is not the vibe. This is my stack of just like basic tops and... Let me just go through it and see what we're gonna do maybe. This one, love it, really cute. It makes my tits look so cute, maybe. Black and basic, maybe. Black with details, maybe. Some color. I think like this could be my colored piece that I bring and then everything else is gonna be neutrals. This one makes my tit look amazing. I recently washed it with a red sock, so it's kind of like this color, but I think it's okay still. And a tube top. Could be cute. It's gonna be a maybe. So these are going back in the closet. I'm not gonna go through my sweaters right now. I'm gonna do that later. I want to figure out tops and bottoms first and then I can figure out which sweaters will be complementary to those. So bottoms. First stack of bottoms. I'm just gonna go through them. Jeans are gonna be a no, so. no and leather pants definitely no and then i have two pairs of shorts but these one are wool so no these ones i love them they're like my go-to travel shorts but this is like kind of a cute romantic trip and i feel like these are more adventure i'm gonna say no to both of them i might regret this one but no so actually there was nothing in that stack that I was gonna bring and I'm getting a bit concerned now. This is why I needed to buy a skirt yesterday and I ended up not buying a skirt. So like we might have a problem here. But this is my second and last stack of bottoms. I always forget that I have this skirt because whenever I'm bloated, it's really not the cutest thing. And apparently I'm always bloated, so I never wear it. 
but it could have its moment on this trip, so I'm gonna say maybe. I have two pairs of linen trousers. These are beige and just very sleek and cute, kind of high-waisted. These are more low-waisted and has like cargo look to them. They have like big pockets on the sides and so on. I'm gonna say maybe and probably yes to both of them. Then we have these that we all know and love. It's my lawn just under the knee pants. I love them, they're a great moment, but I feel like they fit more into my Paris aesthetic than my Italy aesthetic. <laughs> so this is the black skirt I already own. And I'm probably gonna bring that. But you see, like, it's not very simple. Like, it has a zip and a belt and, like, just so much going on. So it's not really, like, something that goes with everything. But I'm gonna have to bring it. And then yesterday, I bought these shorts. And they are black and they are linen and they're kind of loose so they could supplement for a skirt but they're just a bit big on me so they sit like down here and they almost fall down <laughs> but actually they do have belt straps so i could just throw a belt on them and i think they're gonna be so comfortable long woolen skirt i'm gonna say no and a suede leather skirt i'm also gonna say no Okay, I don't know, I might bring these pants too, but they're like, just black and s I don't know. Um, oh, I have a pair of black silk trousers, that might also be nice, but where the fuck are they? Oh, I have my laundry bin too, there could be some stuff in there. Wait, let me just go look. Laundry. I have my mesh top, which I think would be a good thing to bring. I'll have to wash that one. Oh, I know where my silk trousers are. I have like a box of stuff I need to sew and there's a belt strap loose in them. But you know what? I don't think I want to bring them anyways. If I'm going to bring anything black, like any black trousers, it's going to be these. So who gives a shit? But we'll remember that the mesh top is probably going to be in the mix. Okay. Let me see what we got. So I have six possible bottoms including these 11 possible tops and oh and i just remembered i have two more dresses so this like animal mixed animal print one which is like really fun at the bottom and then this black slip one so that makes six dresses and i'm gonna be there for four full days and two half days it's like five days oh, this is gonna be a challenge let's start with the bottoms so i feel like i don't need two pairs of linen trousers and these ones are more classy so i think i'm gonna have to bring these and then leave these ones at home but i'm not gonna put them back in the cl closet i'm gonna make a maybe maybe pile and I think it would be nice to have two pairs of long trousers because I don't know how cold it's gonna be so it would be nice if it got really cold that I had at least two pairs of long trousers. So these two. And then I have three bottoms, like short bottoms. And I don't, like is that problematic having three different bottoms? I feel like one of the blacks could go. I wouldn't know which one. Probably the shorts. But maybe this one too, because like, I don't know if it's that cute. Okay, I'm gonna leave them and see like, what, I'm, ugh, I can't, I keep like, not wanting to make the decisions. Whatever. So for tops, this is a definite yes, like, I'll need that, of course. There is like a lot of black tops going on, which is okay, I feel like the vibe I wanted to bring was black, but... You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna go with black. But I'm definitely bringing this one because it's a white top and it's nice to have a white top and because my tits look cute. So this is a yes. And then we have these two colored pattern ones. And I feel like this is more of a yes than this. So I'm gonna say like definite no to this one. Then we have seven black tops. We all need to boil that down. I love this, but again, it might be more Paris than Italy. So I don't think she's necessary and I think she's 
going back into the closet. I feel like this one I really really love and it's gonna be a clear yes for this one. Like this one's definitely coming. So now I have three small tops and a shirt. I can bring a few more. The tube top is cute and I feel like it would be ridiculously cute with the high-waisted beige linen trousers and the white linen shirt over it. So I feel like that takes up no space, so this can come. And yes, this one does make my tits look great, but I feel like the length of it doesn't go with any of the bottoms I'm bringing. So maybe it's gonna be a no for this one. I think, yeah, it's gonna be a no for this one. Not, 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 not today, honey. Then what we have left is the corset top. This funny, like, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like details like on the neck kind of like open and it has like net thingy and then just a really really simple black top with straps but so far I've brought no tops with small straps and I feel like this one I don't I'm not gonna need it so now we have the corset and this one I don't, I don't need the corset actually, like I often wear it and again maybe it's more of a Paris thing and this one is a really really nice simple top and I'm gonna be so happy and clean looking if I just wear simple things all week. Okay, I'm feeling good about this, it's like a very, I'm doing something very minimalistic, like I really like that, I like that for me. Oh no, the dresses. <sighs> okay, let me think about this. The screen dress is so beautiful and I love it so much and it's so good for traveling around in cute cities because you just feel like a princess in it. But it might be for more like peak summer and not springtime. And with everything else I'm bringing, I feel like this is a different kind of mood. So I'm, I think I'm gonna say no to this one. I feel like this is a reality show where I'm like eliminating different players. I feel like this long black dress could be a nice thing to bring also just to wear like over an outfit like this and especially if we like have a day where we want to go visit churches and so on and i'm in something short it's nice to have something to cover up with because a lot of italian churches won't let you in if you're like too short so i feel like yeah i'm gonna bring this one to like have something long with me and then i have four dresses left I feel like I've been really really good with the tops, so maybe I can allow myself two dresses, right? Okay, so my first thought is that I should definitely bring the black one. Like just a simple black dress, I feel like it's necessary. So I'm gonna bring it. Fuck it, I'm bringing it. Also, it's really short and again, I want to wear short stuff. And maybe this one is more of a Paris thing. Mm. It's so cute. Let me try it on. Wait a moment. It is so cute, but it's absolutely ridiculous how short it still is. Like even if I made it longer, it's still so short. And I feel like it hurts me to say this, but this is probably something I would like to wear something underneath. So maybe it's more of a Paris thing. Like, look how beautiful that is. I love that so much. But it's going back in the closet. I think I wore this the other way before, didn't I? Because it's like asymmetrical, but there's no label, so I don't know which way to turn it. It doesn't matter. We have two dresses left. So this one is fun because it has this and because of the print. Like, I really love that. But like this dress, it just looks like it was made for me. Like it's really like, like I was born that way. I think it's gonna be this dress. Okay, we kind of made it through. We've made it this far at least. So this is the pile. It's very much neutrals and black. And that was actually the vibe I was feeling beforehand. So I'm very happy about that. Now for a sweater. I think I want to bring one cardigan. I know which one. This is just like a plain white, very minimalistic cardigan. 
it goes with everything in that pile so a white cardigan and then like maybe one big sweater so if it's cold at night i have one big sweater but then i have to commit to one sweater let's figure out the options i'll look through the options option number one is always a safe go-to for me it's this black and white striped turtleneck downside of this like everything is perfect about it but it has a turtleneck and that's maybe too much like the vibe is off also take a shot every time i said vibe through this video same thing about this it's a very very good basic but again turtleneck so the same problem but i feel like between these two i'm i would want to wear this one so this is going back in the closet then i have this one which is not a turtleneck but it's fucking huge so maybe a no no it's not gonna be that one and then i have some like alternatives to the big sweater i could do a black crop sweater which i feel like would look cute with a lot of the things i'm bringing but also would i want something bigger maybe and then i have this sweater which is off shoulder and it's really thin so it wouldn't give me a lot of heat but i feel like if i'm wearing this one my cardigan and my black leather jacket i don't expect it to be colder than that like i don't know and this one is so beautiful because it has like an open neck so it will look really cute but actually maybe thinking about what i'm bringing i'm bringing a lot of colors not colors but colors and this is not the best thing with colors because it falls down kind of maybe this is a no and then i have this one which is like without sleeves but has a turtleneck mm. i think maybe the crop one like imagining the outfits i think the crop one is the cutest but i don't know how cute the crop one is with the jacket I'm gonna leave both of them out for now, like the striped one and the cropped one. Also the cropped one and the cardigan doesn't go together and I feel like it would be nice to have a sweater that could go with my cardigan so if I need to like really heat up I can wear everything at once. But the cropped one could go with the cardigan, like if I close the cardigan the cropped one is okay. I actually think those two, the cardigan and the cropped one. So not bringing this guy. I'm, I'm actually doing better than I thought I would. Like, I'm being really tough on this, but yeah, like, yay me. Let me just lay out everything and we can kind of feel the vibe. I actually feel really good about this. Like, this is a really good color plate and everything kind of seems to go together, which is like so important that you can mix and match so I can create like so many outfits with this bunch. Okay, I know what shoes I'm gonna bring. I would love to bring boots because I am such a boots girl, but I am aware of my destiny and I know that that is not gonna be an option. So, so I'm gonna be wearing white Converse. And again, I feel like these kind of goes with everything. And then these sandals. And they're a bit big on me and I don't know if I'm gonna get blisters and shit, but these are the sandals I have, so. This is what it's gonna be. I do have these green mules, but I feel like I have better chances at surviving wearing the other ones. So, okay, let's look at like accessories, like belt, jewelry, whatever. I actually only am bringing one thing that requires a belt and it's the linen shorts, which I'm still not sure I'm gonna end up bringing, but if I bring them, I'm gonna bring this black tiny belt too. Let's take a look at my silk scarves. I have a lot of color in here and as it turns out I'm not gonna be wearing a lot of color. I could bring this one just to have the opportunity of adding some color to a black outfit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So one scarf. This is gonna be no, 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 maybe, no. This could be fun, but I'm gonna go with no. I would say maybe to this one, but it kind of serves the same purpose as the big one with the lemons, so I'm gonna say no. And then yes and yes, because these are beautiful and go with everything. 
So three scarves it is. Sucks up boring, I'm not gonna drag you through that, but I'm just gonna be bringing like white and black ankle socks, I think, for the converse. Maybe a pair of nylon tights, I don't know. So this is kind of ironic because I am wearing a hair tie today, but I'm trying to protect my hair more and wear less damaging hairstyles. And I love wearing space buns. And because of that, I bought these small clips, a pair in brown and a pair in black. So I can do like space buns with the clips instead of with hair ties that damage the hair a lot. And I don't think I need to bring both. I can just bring the black ones. I do think I will be bringing both my pairs of sunglasses just because it's two very different vibes but it's two very necessary vibes like I could want to go either way at any point so yes and this I have my fun necklaces um let me think I think this one actually and this one is thrifted in Italy so it's like a full circle moment it's a very short thick plastic necklace but it's so cute I'm gonna bring that one and then my two pearl chokers and I love wearing them together it's really cute chains I have these two that like double as necklaces and belly chains do I want to bring them I would have to try on my outfits and see if any of them have some stomach showing and could benefit from a belly chain. So maybe. And this necklace is super beautiful and dainty and has pearls. So this is gonna be a yes. And since I'm a boring bitch that never changed my earrings, nor my finger rings, nor my bracelets, I'm not gonna do anything about that. So I'm just gonna be wearing what I'm wearing right now. And yeah, maybe I'll bring like one or two hair ties just in case I end up being a messy, a messy girl. I think we're getting there. So like imagine all of this and then, and then like this jacket. So like imagine like a hot summer night and I'm wearing like my little skimpy top or whatever. And then just this jacket on top of it and my converse. Like that's gonna be so cute. Maybe this is a bit much, but. Like that's gonna be super super cute and i'm of course bringing my black mandarina i think that's a wrap you guys like i think we're doing a lot and i'm pretty confident that what we have now i'm gonna be able to fit all of that in my suitcase oh i forgot to show you one thing wait so when i moved here i had just lived in the caribbean where i was wearing a lot of small bikinis and so on and i didn't expect that i would go swimming a lot <laughs> in paris and I thought if I'm gonna go swimming, it's probably gonna be at a, what are those things called? Like the communal swimming pools, like interior communal swimming pools. What is that place called? In Danish, it's called Swimmehill. Somebody translate that for me. But I was expecting like, maybe I'll do that with the kids. So I will need something not cute, but kid appropriate instead. So I brought this motherfucker and that's all I have. So that is what I'm going to bring to Palermo. And I know that Italian boy is going to expect something really cute from me. <laughs> but that's just not what he's going to get. He's going to have to like settle for this. But it's just a black bathing suit. But it's actually kind of low cut in the front. So it's like it goes all the way down like this and then it's across. And then in the back it's really low cut too. Not really low cut, it's not like all the way down to my ass, it's just like pretty. And it's not, it's like the bottoms cover, but you can still yank them up your ass and like show off some parts if you want to. It's actually really cute. I really love this, but it is not like a tiny Italian bikini and he's just gonna have to live with that. Also like it's recycled material, it's from another series. It might just be greenwashing, but I fell for it, so whatever. I actually think that's it. And I feel confident about being able to have all of this with me in my carry-on luggage. Like, I'm only bringing a carry-on, so... You should probably wish me luck with that, but I do feel confident. I cannot promise that I will keep you guys updated and that I will upload anything 
on YouTube from Palermo. If you know, you know. The last time I went to Italy, it wasn't the case. But I am probably going to be active on my Instagram. Like, I'm 20 years old. I'm probably going to be active on my Instagram. So if you care about what I'm doing and what I'm wearing, you could go check that out. And we'll see what my next video turns out to be. I have no idea if I have time to do any vlogging before I leave. So maybe you'll get another Paris vlog and maybe this is it. Maybe you'll get something from Palermo. You'll just have to wait and see. And here's to random shit.